Good day to all of you. In our last lesson, we learned about the rectangle tool. Let me ask some questions based on the previous class. Can you tell what do we need to use along with color box 1 to fill colors in your drawing? In any drawing, to add color, we need to use fill with color along with color box 1. Can you tell with which tool do we use color box 2? In any drawing, to color, you need to use fill tool with color box 2. Can you now also tell what is the difference between color box 1 and color box 2? Color box 1 is used to change the color of the outline, while color box 2 is used to fill color inside your drawing. Let us all go ahead now and switch on our computers and open the MS Paint file. So let us now begin with today's class. The MS Paint course is divided into two parts, Paint Module 1 and Paint Module 2. So what you all are learning currently is Module 1. And as soon as you complete the next class, you will all have a test for Module 1. So now, let us move on and learn the topics of today's class. In today's class, with the help of the rectangle tool, we will make different drawings. These drawings will be face, building and car, rocket. Look at the given picture and tell what is shown here. So, this is a picture of a face. Can you tell which all tools we will need to use to make this picture? This picture can be made by using the rectangle tool. Color box 1 and color box 2 along with fill option. Look at the given pictures and tell if you can make these pictures or not. Draw this picture yourself if you can. Else, let us now learn how to make these with the help of the video. So first, so go into the toolbox as is being shown in the video. Select the rectangle tool. And we also need, we are selecting both the same colors. Dark brown color, color 1 and color 2. And in fill we select the solid color option. Come to the drawing area and drag a rectangle as is being shown. Remove the dotted lines by clicking on the side. Then go and change the color 1 and color 2, both to the same color black. Bring your pointer here and draw a small rectangle as is being shown in the video to make the eyes. So we have made one eye. We now drag another rectangle to make another eye. Next, we remove the dotted lines by clicking on the side. We go and select colors again. For color 2, we have selected one color. And for color 1, a small rectangle, longish rectangle here with dark brown color. Remove the dotted lines. Now we select the line tool because we are going to make some lines. Make color 2 as white and color 1 as black and draw this slanted eyebrow on top of the eye. Similarly, we draw, we need to draw another eyebrow on the right eye also. So we remove the dots and we drag a slanted line here like this. And your drawing is complete of a face. Can you tell 
how to erase this picture. In order to erase this, you can use Ctrl A plus delete. Look at the picture in front of you and tell what is this one called. This is a picture of a street building. Will you be able to make this picture? By using rectangle and line tool, this picture is made. If you can draw this picture, go ahead and draw it. Else, let us watch this video and with its help learn how we can make this picture. In order to make this colorful picture of a road with buildings and cars, so as is being shown in the video, we first select the rectangle tool, then we go and select color 1 and color 2 of the same color. And from the fill option, we select solid fill and drag a rectangular box here as is being shown in the video. Next, we need to draw a road. So we are selecting the black color as color 1 and black color as color 2 with the same color being filled in. So we drag this rectangle here which makes the road for us. We also click on the side to remove all the dotted lines. We have selected a color, uh, both the same color in color 1 and color 2 and we drag a rectangular building here like this. We click on the side to remove the dotted lines. We go and select the same color for color 1 and color 2 but this time a different color, brown color, light brown and we come to the drawing area and drag another box here which shows us another building. Then we click on the side to remove the dotted lines. We go again to choose different color because we are trying to make a very colorful street. So we select color 2 and color 1 as the same color. Remember that we have already selected the rectangle tool and the solid fill option in fill. So this is the third building yellowish in color. We remove the dotted lines. Now in between the buildings there will be a road as we had seen in the picture. So on the other side we will be making buildings also. So we have selected a different color now for both color 1 and color 2 the same color and we would make a tall building like this by dragging down here. Once again we click on the side to remove the dotted lines. Go and select color 1 and color 2 with the same color and draw a nice tall building again here like this. Next, we remove the dotted lines. We now have to make the street poles, the light poles. So we have to make those. So we go and make a very thin rectangle by dragging, which is the pole for the street light. So we just drag it vertically downwards, a very thin rectangle we are making. Remove the dotted lines. And again on the other side of the road, we also drag downwards and make a very thin pole for the street lights. Next we go and click on the side 
to remove the dotted lines remember that we will also be making the lights on these poles and we also have to make lots of windows and ventilators and we can make them in multiple colors so we have now selected the black color both color 1 and color 2 and we are drawing these small rectangles in the first building to show the windows or the ventilators of the building so it is very easy we if you watch the video carefully you will be able to learn very quickly so this is a slightly bigger window here remember that after drawing each window next we go and click on the side to remove the dotted lines so we have one more here these can be taken to be tall gates or doors in the window next for the second building let us select a different color for color box for color palette 1 and color palette 2 so we now selecting a bright color yellow color as color in color 2 and we are also selecting color 1 also as yellow we draw this window by dragging a rectangle you just adjust it and then remove the dotted lines by clicking on the side we draw another rectangle here drawing rectangles to show the windows and the ventilators it will look like the light is on in the buildings and the windows so it looks very bright so we are continuing to make more windows in this building and always after making each small window we click on the side to remove the dotted lines now we are making a tall gate or a doorway we are making another doorway here a small window here and some small ventilators also one on top next our next building is yellow in color so we choose the color 1 and color 2 to be green so that we, we can see the windows and ventilators clearly come back to our third building and start drawing the windows by dragging rectangles here and here We continue and drag more ventilators and windows like this. Watch the video carefully so that you find it easy to make this drawing on your own. Then we are making a tall gate or a door for the building and some small windows here and here. Okay. So next, we have the taller buildings on the other side of the road. So for that, we are selecting the dark brown color as color 1. And we are selecting color 2 also in a different color. So this time, we have selected the boundary color to be uh, the color 1 which is brown and we are making small slant slits of windows here remember we have selected a different color as color 2 so if we were to make rectangles uh, here the inside of the color will will be different now we have selected color 2 
as dark gray and color one also as dark gray and when we make rectangles here these will be solid rectangles so we're making those tall windows like this and like this here remember each time to remove the dotted lines now we are selecting both for color one and color two dark brown again and we make these tall windows here like this as is being shown in the video to you this one window here so like this then remove the dotted lines draw another parallel window here like this remember always to remove the dotted lines now we are changing color 2 and color 1 to dark gray or bluish shade and we make a window here and another one on its side like this Okay, so we have dragged this window. We are selecting the dark brown color for color 1 and color 2. So the solid rectangles that we make will be in dark brown. Just as we had made earlier. So we are making this window here. As is being shown in the video. Your drawing is already looking very colorful. So just continue like this another window remember to remove the dotted lines by going and clicking on the side now we have selected a different color for both color 1 and color 2 actually we are making one time brown and another time the dark gray windows so that our picture our building looks more colorful so we have a window here like this and another one on the side just like this now we are selecting the dark brown color for both color one and color two to make the windows in the last building oh first we have to make a small doorway here so we made it in dark brown in this building remove the dotted lines by clicking on the side we still have one more building where we have to make windows and doors so we have selected now the dark blue color now this time note that we have selected color 1 as black so the boundary line will be black but we have selected color 2 as dark blue so the rectangle inside would get filled in with dark blue color as is being shown in the video. Now we have selected the line tool and we have selected the black color as color 1 so we are drawing the doors inside this doorway. So we make a vertical line as is being shown in the video. So remember by using different types of rectangles you can use solid fill or you can use a different boundary line and a filled in color will be different depending on what tool you are using. Now we are uh, you, selecting color 1 and color 2 as uh, the bluish color and we now have to come back and make the windows so we select the rectangle tool. We come here and we are making solid rectangles to show the windows and the ventilators as is being shown here. We make one more like this. So we can 
change the color if we like. What we have done is we have selected the red color because the light bluish color was not very clearly visible and we wanted to make our drawing bright. So we have now selected both color 1 and color 2 as red. So we have bright colored windows and ventilators in our building. We just move it slightly and finally remove the dotted lines by clicking on the side. So we have bright colored windows and ventilators in our building. And another one which is again parallel to the first and second. So we made three here. We continue like this, we make more windows and ventilators, a small one here, small boxes, small rectangles you can say. So three here. So we're just trying to make our drawing look as beautiful as possible. Now we have selected color one and color two different color purple color and we are making the windows on the top in this color by dragging rectangles, small rectangles as you can see in the video. We are selecting dark brown color as both color 1 and color 2. So on the top, we are making this tall, big window, which is in dark brown color by dragging a rectangle. Now we go to the line tool. Remember, we, made, we need to make the lights on the street lamps. So we have selected color 1 as yellow and any lines we draw will be in yellow color. So we are now making the light on the street lamps. So we can make a slanted line, then join another second line like this and from here join it back to the pole. Similarly on the other side, we have made these street lamps, the lights, then join another second line like this. And from here, join it back to the pole. So next we have made these, uh, we have selected color 1 and color 2 uh, as black. And we are still in making solid rectangles. And we are making the wheels for the cars. So after doing this, we have now selected color 2 as white and color 1 is a different color, grayish color. So now we will be making a, a, the boundary with grayish color and the rectangle will be filled with white color. So we are making the body of the car as is being shown here. And we use the fill option as no fill. So we just want to make the outline of uh, the rectangle without filling it with in any color. So the original color which is there inside will remain. Next we select color 1 and color 2 as black. Use the solid color and again make the other wheels of the other car for the other car like this. And another one like this. 
next we already we are now making uh, rectangles which are with solid fill now we select the white color as color 2 and select the bluish color light blue color as color 1 and we are selecting the line 2 so now we are making lines with light blue color from here like this we join this and make another line here and join the two lines together like this now we need to just make the headlamp or the headlights in the car so one car is coming towards us the other car is uh, is going backwards on to to the other side so what we have selected is the red color selected the rectangle tool and solid fill from the fill option and here we are making the headlights in the car as is being shown in the video we are now uh, just making a small uh, drawing in our door of the last building so we have selected the black color and color 2 is white so the handle appears like that so this way your drawing is complete now can you tell us how we can erase the picture and to erase it you will use control a plus delete once again take a good look at this picture and tell what is this called this is a picture of a rocket do you think you can make this picture by yourself once again draw this picture if you can else let us watch this video and with its help learn how we can make this picture in order to make the picture of a rocket so we first select the rectangle tool choose color 1 as black and color 2 as white uh, dark brown and if from fill option choose solid fill and then drag a rectangle like this which will have a outer boundary of black and dark brown inside color is filled in next we change the color to and drag a rectangle as is being shown in the video like this in this case the outer boundary is black whereas the inner color is the same as color 2 which is blue remember to click on the side of the drawing to remove the dotted lines next we have changed the color to to a dark gray color and we are dragging another rectangle as is shown in the video once again next we have changed the color to from the color palette and drag a third rectangle as is shown in the video now we need to draw the head top a head of the rocket so we go here and we need to draw slanting lines first we let us make this rectangle inside the rocket in this case we have chosen color 1 as black and color 2 as white so we get a white rectangle now we go and change the tool to line tool and make these lines here like this a vertical line
we adjust it and make the line there we click on the outside of the drawing to remove any dots and dotted lines next we make a horizontal line like this to make the boxes in this rectangle we make another horizontal line after each line remember to click on the outside of the drawing to remove the dots or the, any dotted lines make another line like this we continue if you watch the video carefully you will find that it is very easy to make this drawing we draw here another line a horizontal line again another horizontal line so we will keep doing this till or we have number of horizontal lines in this rectangle that we have just drawn now we need to draw the last horizontal line so that is done next we will be drawing the top the head of the rocket so we need to draw a slanted line as is being shown in the video and join this line from this point to this point so the top end of the rocket is ready also now we need to make the wings on the side so we draw a slanted line like this We will draw another line from this point going downwards as is being shown here like this and then we need to join this end point of this line to the rocket body so like this. So one side the wing is ready we also need to make another wing on the other side similar to the one which we have made here so we make a slanted line then from the end point we need to take a line going slightly upwards join this last point of the line to the body of the rocket like this so we have the two wings made now we need to make the flame part at the bottom of the rocket. So we come here. From this point, we make a slanted line going horizontally on the other side towards the back like this. Then we take slightly a small line going upwards. or towards the right side you can say one more time a slanted line from here going horizontally backwards because the flame is going backwards when the rocket is going forward so we make this slanted line and then from here we make a slanted line coming back here like this and just like we have drawn on the top side of the rocket, we'll make another small mountain type or a triangle type of drawing here to complete the flame. So we join this here like this. So our main drawing of the rocket is now complete. So we select as color one and we select the solid fill tool and we fill in these places the color that we have selected in color one palette. We go back select a different color color one and on the top of the rocket we fill in with this bluish color. Now we have selected the dark brown color 
and we keep filling the boxes that we had made one after the other. So we, as you notice in the video, we are leaving one box in between and we are filling the other colors like this. So your drawing is ready. We will end today's lesson here. Please close the MS Paint file and if any of you are still finding it difficult to close the Paint file, do look at the video and learn from there. To close this Paint file, we need to take our cursor or the pointer to the top right corner of the screen and click on the close button. When you come there, you see close written, click there. And a box appears on your paint file having three options, save, don't save and cancel. Since we are not going to save this, we select don't save and the paint file gets closed. Next, shut down your computer properly. So in today's class, you all learned and did practice of rectangle tool, how to make a face. And along with the picture of a building, you also made a road, a car and a light with the help of this tool. And lastly, you all made a nice picture of a rocket. Thank you.